Hailing from a country that boasts some of the biggest and best names in all of MMA, it was no surprise when a 19-year-old Amanda Nunes decided to follow in the footsteps of these Brazilian legends and carve out her own path to greatness in the world of martial arts. Growing up in Brazil was awesome. You know, I come from a small city. I started in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I compete a lot. The first time when I see MMA was in the Jiu-Jitsu gym. And I started from there. Nunes would soon form a passion for the sport of MMA that could not be denied, and she knew that relocating to the U.S. was a must. I decided to come to America because I know in America my, my career is going to go to the next level. Here is Amanda the Lioness Nunes! At the time, the sport of MMA was dominated by male athletes. Running the tables now on Pound Lewis. But Nunes fought in the largest promotions available for female fighters, knowing that one day she would compete on the world's biggest stage. I always think I'm going to be the best. I always think I'm going to fight in UFC. Even in UFC, does it have the weight class for women? I don't think sometimes people believe it. But I always think I'm going to fight in UFC, always. When she has something in her head, it's not coming out. Her goal from the day she started fighting was I'm going to be a UFC champion, and it's never left her head. Eventually, as Nunes had predicted, the pieces would fall into place. And when Rousey debuted in the UFC in 2013, an entire division followed. They are doing justice to the sport of women's mixed martial arts. And as part of the new female roster, Nunes quickly made a name for herself. The big elbows trying to finish this fight. And it is all over! I'm the kind of fighter the fans want to see. Jermaine Durand to me is in a lot of trouble right now. Amanda Nunes has nasty ground about power. Whatever the fights go, I finish it. After defeating Durandamy, Nunes then went on to face Ronda Rousey teammate Shayna Baszler. This is a powerful, aggressive bantamweight. She just keeps getting better and better. She would then secure another impressive victory over former Olympian Sarah McMahon. Her wins become more and more spectacular. We're going to be there ready, you know, for battle. Heading into her fight versus Valentina Shevchenko at UFC 196, Nunes knew that a victory would all but secure her shot at the Bantamweight Championship. Oh, man. The star is born tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the lioness, Amanda Nunes. By mid-2016, she had reached title contention, and the belt had already changed hands again after Rousey's loss. Oh, my God! She put her to sleep! What a crazy division this women's band of weight has turned out to be. Nunes' title shot would come against veteran Misha Tate on one of the biggest stages in the history of the sport. This monumental moment is now upon us. This! It's UFC 200, Tate versus Nunes. This matchup has been highly anticipated because Misha is on a roll unlike any other, and Amanda Nunes is very vicious. She is trying to become the first female Brazilian to earn a UFC title. Touch gloves and let's do this. And there's a takedown by Misha Tate. That's the pressure we want. And moving. She's got a lot of snaps to her punches and kicks. Explodes, moves in very quickly. Double leg, double leg, double leg! Down, double leg. Beautiful speed. Oh, nice right hand. Clean. More punishment. Misha Tate is busted up. The energy for that fight was incredible. Everything was the way it's supposed to be. And Amanda Nunes feels the belt around her waist. She's got the choke. She's got the choke. She tapped. And it's all over. The Lioness achieved her goal of becoming UFC champion, and winning the Bantamweight title was the first step in solidifying herself as the greatest women's mixed martial artist on the planet. Brazil!